sad that Bunked is going off the air after the end of this season. Where am I gonna get my fix now that it and Jesse are off the air? Ugh. This show is super funny, made even more so by all the adult jokes. Even though the show is on Disney Channel, a lot of the humor is pretty dirty. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham, and these are the dirtiest dirty jokes in Bunked. <laughs> Number 8. On the first day of camp, everyone's excited to meet their new bunkmates. Of course, everyone has at least one weird kid in their camp group, and at first it looks like it's gonna be Jorge. But then Ravi says this, and the whole vibe changes. So, let me guess, the aliens probed you? Of course not. They just invited me for brunch. Rule number one about meeting new friends, don't ask them if little gray men have ever been inside their butthole. Number seven. When Xander invites Emma to meet him at the spot, Lou has a pretty good idea of what they'll be doing in the dark. The kids go to, you know. Get electrocuted? <laughs> yeah, judging by those hip thrusts and body rolls she's doing, there's no way the kids at Kikiwaka just make out. There's definitely a little dry humping going on, just like a summer camp hookup should. Also, if they don't listen to Kiki Do You Love Me while they're grinding, I'm gonna lose it! Number six. Apparently, Ravi never learned how to swim, even though he's a CIT, so it's up to Tiffany and Jorge to teach him. While Tiffany is all about hitting the books and studying up, Jorge suggests a different approach. We need to get physical. I don't like you like that. <laughs> Damn, kid, take it slow. You just met this girl, and her scary tiger mom would probably kill you if you so much as looked at her daughter. Plus, you're like, what, 10 years old? Save the hookups for high school, guys. Number five. In this episode, Emma gives the spirit stick to Xander, even though everyone tells her that giving up the guardianship will result in terrible luck for her entire cabin. When Xander refuses to give it back to her, the grizzly bunk girls have no choice but to try to steal it. Of course, Hazel beats them to the punch, and as they're chasing after her, this happens. Get him! <laughs> I've had dreams like this but I was much happier. Cool, so now we know that Xander is into orgies. Come to think of it, ladies, do you actually want that spirit stick back? You don't know where he's put it. Number four, having a phone is a huge no-no at Camp Kikiwaka, so when Zuri smuggles in a second contraband phone, the whole camp is on high alert. Especially Hazel, who can't seem to shake the feeling that Xander might be hiding it somewhere. The only thing Hazel's done is frisk Xander five times. Ah, Hazel! That is not a pocket. You know, a wise man once said that the butthole is actually nature's pocket. Number three. Dang, Hazel's one stone cold bee. Emma receives a paper airplane note asking her to meet Xander at the spot, but it turns out that Hazel was just trying to get Xander all to herself for the night. That's when Hazel throws herself on the pool table and says this. Xander and I can play a little nine ball. Frack him. Yeah, there's no way she was talking about racking the pool balls. And it's pretty obvious that Ravi and Jorge think so too. Number two. When the girls find out that Hazel will be in their cabin this year, none of them are very happy with the sleeping arrangements. Hazel takes up almost the entire room with her bed and rhythmic ribbon dancing. But homegirl definitely needs to lay off getting frisky with that ribbon in front of her bunkmates. <laughs> feel sorry for that ribbon. I mean, I guess that move could be sexy if you were doing it right, but A, Hazel is a child, and B, who the hell rubs a ribbon all over their butt? Number one. Dang, yo, I was really surprised to see that Disney let this one slip past the radar. When the new group of girls from the Weasel Cabin meet Lou for the first time, they immediately tie her up and torture her, which is terrifying on its own. They're a bunch of little goth sociopaths. I feel like all of them need to be the focus of an HBO true crime doc. The Weasel Girls put a collar and a leash around Lou's neck and even give her this nickname. They named me Reek. <laughs> Reek? Which I love. <laughs> oh, me. In case you're a preteen who hasn't seen Game of Thrones, Reek is a guy who used to be named Theon until he was kidnapped by Ramsay Bolton and castrated. I don't know if the Weasels plan to cut off Lou's non-existent penis, but calling her Reek is definitely a slippery slope. These are my favorite dirty jokes and bunked, but there are definitely way more for us to talk about. Let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments below, and I'll be back next week to ruin your childhood.